This week I continue with the dog bed. Uh, I decided to make it a little bit fancier than uh, the usual. Uh, but that's uh, for Joey. Let's get started. Instead of having just a plain dog bed, uh, I thought of doing a little bit, uh, doing it a little bit different. Uh, so I thought of putting a logo on here, uh, in this case uh, cargo van conversion. Um, what I did is uh, cut a piece of maple to a quarter inch thickness and I took at least two pieces of walnut I'll cut the logo in here on the uh, scroll saw. I'll show you how that how we do that. But first, I'll uh, get this little corner off of here. So I found out I only needed two pieces of the walnut for the letters, and this. Hard maple will be the bottom, it will be the, the final result, so... I connect both of them with a couple of uh, small nails. And then I made a printout, the right size, of the logo that I wanted. And I glue this onto the surface where I want to have them with some spray glue. Next step is to use some clear packing tape oh, do it. the clear tape will help to keep everything together as well as lubricate the saw blade somewhat to gain access to each letter I need to drill a tiny little hole in each letter uh, sometimes twice when they have a center like an A or a G or an O so got a couple of holes to drill Okay, got my scroll saw. Okay. I do not use my scroll saw that often, so I have to do it very slowly. But time is on my side. Okay, that is number one. I see you've got two letters.
By the way, I've been uh, spending my weekend uh, cleaning up my workshop. It's already a little bit dirty, but did all my machines and the table, so and got a lot of more space, which I'll be even adding to as well. Uh, but uh, to continue, I need instead of um, the walnut that I've been using, uh, I'm using here a piece of red oak. Uh, so I need to cut a piece more or less the same size as the walnut. Now instead of to do the word van in a different type of wood, you can see it's lighter in color, still darker than the white. Okay. Then I have to put that back. Got it replaced by red oak. Put the holes in. And now some more sawing on the scroll saw. I have to take off the tape and the template. Okay. And this is what I'm left with. Lots of holes, but we'll see what we can do with that. Now I'll be starting to glue the letters together. What I'll first do is I'll just start with the these insets. Doesn't matter that it doesn't go all the way in. We'll take care of that later. I haven't done this often and certainly not in a piece like this, so it is exciting for me too. It's only rough, but it looks good. So now I've got my logo in there. It's still sticking out quite a bit. And you can see that the back isn't much nicer either, but that's the back and nobody sees that. Uh, but uh, I'm focused on the front. So what I have to do now is send at least these letters down and make it all a little bit. Nicer looking. And now I have to start filling up these holes, and the, those are different ones because it's red oak, walnut, and hard maple. Okay, I got some red oak sawdust. That's for the letters V A N. I'll just put a little bit of uh, wood glue on it. And then I'll just tap it in the holes. I noticed that I should have placed the holes in a little bit different location which would have made them less obvious but yeah next time next project life is a learning process and this is my passenger side side panel so what I'll do is I'll glue this on the panel. 
uh, and then overlapping the bottom so when I glue it on it has a lot of surface to stick to the bottom panel. Now from this, okay, that looks good. Okay, now the same thing. I still got a blank hard maple piece for the other side. Let's do that together too. Okay, I'm getting some more gluing done. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.